it is related, you know, th that I wouldn't doubt if Bourdain and the Spade Lady were both tormented by the same type of electronic interference and feedback material related to surveillance, you know, illegal, covert, but unavoidable surveillance, you know, that is, that's the sort of thing that could torture a person into suicide, for sure, by making someone kill themselves, that the targeted person will be made to kill themselves. Well, I hope that's not going to happen to me, and I'm going to say, you know, I have no intention of letting that happen. This is a big part of our world, you know? Um, exploitation of people who work, who are creative, who work for their media industry. And, uh, controlling them, controlling their creativity and then threatening them if they try to do anything about it. Uh, that seems to be what is normal. And it may very well be that this type of electronic harassment, surveillance, and interference with communication is also one of their tactics. I also don't care because in, the, in a way it's like I'm really just sick of people trying to control me at all, you know? Nobody pays me enough to control me. But like I said, this, you know, I feel like uh, things have changed a lot for me and for the world and that a fresh approach is inevitable and necessary. Wouldn't surprise me at all if a lot of the members of the orders and mystical groups that I've talked about, sometimes critically, but mostly just analysis of their mysteries, rituals, literature, Sometimes they don't like people who aren't members doing that. Sometimes they don't like people who aren't members doing that. Sometimes they don't like people who aren't members doing that. And I really suspect that's what a lot of this has to do with. It's possible and easy. It's easy, guys. What I'm saying is the whole internet, I feel like, is compromised. The whole internet is hacked. The whole internet, I feel like, is compromised. The whole internet is hacked.